So if you, you read the news about Yemen right now, what you'll know is that the, the United Nations with American support is trying to broker a, a nationwide ceasefire and get the, the parties to the conflict to come to the table and talk about interim political and security arrangements that will allow for talks over the country's future. But one of the, the problems is that the parties the UN are engaging aren't representative of the full range of armed and political groups who are driving the war and really doesn't include local actors who would be advocates for peace in the event that we get to a ceasefire and we start moving towards a, a political process. And in particular, women's groups have really struggled to find a, a place in national politics and within the, the UN process. And we really see two problems with, with that. One, there's this day zero question. Okay, you've got your ceasefire. You're initiating talks about a, a political process, but there are so many different political dynamics on the ground in, in Yemen. And there are so many different groups that you need local actors to really engage in that ceasefire process and to push for local groups to, to sustain the, the ceasefire and keep the peace locally. And when we survey the major NGOs, the major peace building organizations, the people who are doing things like trying to reopen roads and airports, in, engage on prisoner swaps, do pe local peace building again and again, we find that they are led or they include highly influential local women. Um, and when we talk about the, the national level political process, what women tell us is they want to have input into the substance of a political settlement, which is going to affect their lives in the future. And given their likely importance to that day zero moment, to making sure that a ceasefire or a truce really works and sticks, I think it's, it's not the, the biggest ask in, in the world. So there are, there are two main sticking points for women's inclusion. The first is that the, the parties the UN engages, so the, the Houthis and the internationally recognized government are, are resistant to the idea that the talks be expanded or there be any kind of quota system, just, just in general. And the second problem really that we faced is that although diplomats, international officials will say, of course, they, they see it as important to engage women, they don't actually see it as being something that, that solves what they see as the fundamental problem in Yemen, which is stopping the shooting and getting these guys towards a, a political process. So what we try and do in the report is make really clear arguments that one, the UN Security Council can just introduce new language in, in kind of a reform of the existing resolutions on Yemen, calling for a more inclusive process and making specific provisions on women's participation. And secondly, we re really try and lay out that local groups, women-led groups in, in particular, are going to be fundamentally important to sustaining a ceasefire and moving Yemen towards uh, peace. But the, that won't come for free. All these different groups will have to feel enrolled in, engaged in that national process and have a say in the substance of an agreement.